Hello guys and welcome to this video. This is ASMR Machine and in addition to introducing you to this video I would also like to say happy ASMR day and it's known it is indeed April the 9th and yeah so and this was actually something that was started a few years back 2012 I think it was and yes basically so that people have a chance a dedicated day to appreciate what is the ASMR thing and to celebrate I have decided to release a video especially the machine I have in this video is largely based on the previous one which you may or may not remember which I had in my previous video and basically what it was, was a, a kind of a tub of really foamy water and it was a kind of mechanical arm with cups on the end that went round and round and round and stirred up the water, lifted it up and poured it in you got some pretty good liquidy sounds from that now I've looked at what went well in the previous video looked at um, what people said about it and yeah, trying to like take the best sounds from that video and make a machine that would do it even better or at least try to now I'm going to show you what I've been working on for about the past week well here is the basic thing it's not actually stood up at the moment because it should be up like that. Maybe the wires will reach. But I'll do that later. And um, it's just easier to show it this way. So, this is the main part of the machine. This is the bit that spins around and around and around. You see, here's the gearing mechanism. There's a the motor up here. And each of these, um, each of these probes so to, sh so to say provide a slightly different have a slightly different thing on the end and will provide a slightly different sound and this one is designed to clamp a piece of material in it because when it's dipped into the water lifted out again and stirred around it will produce some nice kind of dripping sounds because the material is quite absorbent so and I'll compare that for you now some fabric cutting sounds I decided to leave this to the video because I know these sounds sound pretty nice This one is basically just a thin metal disc which will go around and basically churn up, slice up whatever's in the water. And this is obviously a cup which will be lifted in and out and up and down and will make some kind of pouring sound as well. The best way for you to see it is of course for me to show you. So this will basically just move up and down. These wheels will rotate. 
and I will dip it down into the water and then raise it out again. And then I'll go back in again. So that's basically how that works. And let's clean it up. And last but not least, we have the tub of water itself. Now at the moment it isn't really making very much sound because well, it's just plain water. We've got all these things we've got all these things stirring about in there, but because the water is so kind of liquidy so to say, there's nothing in it, there's nothing in there to make the sound, so what should we start with? Bubble <laughs> wash. Give it a bit of speed. As I was showing you earlier, there are actually a, a, a variety of different implements attached to the end of this wheel. And that is why there's actually a combination of, kind of there's actually a variety of kind of collision sounds, so to say, going on in that water. Of course, we've got a metal disc slicing through it, we've got a plastic cup. Um, Turning it about, and we've also got a piece of uh, material which we which use in absorbing, and yeah, it's generally helping with the overall effect. Unfortunately, the main part of this machine 
doesn't seem to be functioning as well now as when I tested it. But see the different parts in there. The motor that I use to actually operate these. They used to operate these, it isn't really powerful enough, neither is the drive belt, so it's that strange it's just because something works well in the workshop doesn't necessarily mean it'll work well when you come to put it in the video. So uh, let's see. metal disc. I think that's about to come undone. That bolt's about to come off and go in the water and I'm going to have to spend quite a while fishing it out again. Other than that, everything's good. Now this is actually a shot glass on here which seems to have slightly, slightly this large. No, no, you stay there. You are supposed to be facing in the direction of the rotation, not towards the middle on the free. Too fast, too fast, too fast. Okay, we'll see how that puts in the camera. Oh, it's just the camera's from here. Yeah. Now the main aim of having these two, this kind of crank mechanism so to say, kind of like um, the old fashioned train wheels, was to have it going round and round and up and down into liquid continuously. However, because we don't have that, it will, it will still go up and down, just not continuously round and round. I thought that might as well give you something rather than nothing at all, so at least the rotor is working and without that we won't get any sound at all, so I always think it works quite well when the discs and other metal pieces are actually right on the surface of the water because that's where these wooden valves often float to and that's where they'll get churned about the most and the sound that they make from colliding with metal pieces won't be absorbed by the water it will be more kind of should I say mid-range so to say more kind of mm. oh yeah we've got more than one loose bolt down there we can change the direction probably won't have any much effect, but just for the hell of it, I will give you the other direction. And here is the old, you can see it on camera vision, but that's the VCR motor. Here we have pram wheel, pram wheel, pram wheel, and pram wheel. Um, what else have we got? Printer drive belt. Yeah, that's probably why it doesn't work. It's only a printer drive belt. Designed for moving printer heads horizontally rather than big heavy pieces of metal vertically. And this I think is about a 30 year old ice cream tub. Don't worry, it doesn't have the ice cream in it anymore. It's just been used for storage for the past 30 years. But yeah. I think this is actually fairy light wire and that is what I was going to point out. Yeah that's a short glass I mentioned earlier. That's a um, piece of curtains. That what else have we got? Um, these are obviously our bricks, they're just um, building bricks from the uh, local building store. 
And then that's a bit of metal thread. Um, that's a couple of metal washers in there. And so what else? There's one coming from somewhere interesting. That's about it really. There we go. Let's give it a bit of speed. Getting to the end of the video now, so... Too vigorous that one. Seems like some quite massive, crazy food mixing bowl. Except it's with bits and pieces you find around the house rather than anything edible. So let's see. I wouldn't recommend eating this because we've got, got bubble bath, not edible. Wooden pieces, not edible. And um, paper cleaning towels, mm, not really edible. Some people prefer the slower sounds, like this. Some people prefer the faster sounds, like I had earlier. I personally prefer the more slower ones, so I'm just going to leave that to play for a few minutes until the end of the video. So, as I bring this video to an end, and basically showing you all I've come up with to offer for the past week. Let's bring this video to an end. As I decrease the power and the motor slows down, the belt slows down, the rotor, the main rotor slows down, the uh, stirring arms slow down. all the other bits slow down. The contents of the water in the tub slows down. Oh. So how, how slow will the motor go without stopping? Or how relaxed can you become without sleeping? More relaxed? More relaxed. Oh, it's a bit more slower. Feeling very nearly in there. Yep. Yep. We're not going to get much more speed out of there. all from me for this video and um, hope to produce another video in the uh, not too distant future and yeah mm. here's one work moderately well and yeah thanks for listening um i hope you managed to get something enjoyable from this video and thanks. Thank you. Bye-bye.